dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, let us especially pray in this holy Eucharistic celebration for all our intentions and also the intentions of our Pope and all the great leaders of this world. May they have peace in the heart of everybody by controlling this coronavirus. May the Lord give hope to every one of us having these intentions in our hearts. Let's begin our Mass. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, every one of us are sinners. In many ways, we do a lot of harm to every one of those who are around us because we love ourselves more than any others and due to that we make a lot of sins, commit sins. We love to have more and more pleasures. Due to that we go against the commandments of God and we have a lot of desires Again, we go again towards the nature, against the nature. And my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, no one can escape from this doing of sin against our neighbor and God. Because human being is made such a way that he is weak in all this. And that's why today Jesus straight away asked one question when people were asking again and again Jesus what to do with this adulterous woman. Only one question he says, my dear brothers and sisters, if you are not sinned, you throw the first stone to hit her. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters, no one was there to throw a stone at her because all of them realized that they are worse than the woman who was caught up in an adultery. In adultery. So, my dear brothers and sisters, in the same way, before we look at others, before we show our forefinger to others, let us ourselves see how we are living, how sinners we are. If we realize that and God is there to forgive as he has forgiven the adulterous woman. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the time to realize our mistakes our sins and come to the Lord and ask pardon and forgiveness for all our sins by saying I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in, in what, what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through, through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore I ask bless the Mary ever virgin all the angels and saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whose wondrous grace we are enriched with every blessing, 
grant us so to pass from former ways to newness of life, that we may be made ready for the glory of the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Prophet Daniel. In those days, the assembly condemned Susanna to death. Then Susanna cried out with a loud voice and said, O eternal God, who discern what is secret, who are aware of all things before they come to be, you know that these men have borne false witness against me. And now I am to die, yet I have done none of the things that they have wickedly invented against me. The Lord heard her cry, and as she was being led away to be put to death, God aroused the Holy Spirit of a young lad named Daniel, and he cried out, cried with a loud voice, I am innocent of the blood of these women. All the people turned to him and said, What is this that you have said? Taking his stand in the midst of them, he said, Are you such fools? You sons of Israel, have you condemned a daughter of Israel without examination and without learning their facts? Return to the place of judgment, for these men have borne false witness against her. Then all the people returned in haste, and the, and the elders said to him, Come, sit among us and in, inform us, for God has given you that right. And Daniel said to them, Separate them far from each other, and I will examine them. When they were separated from each other, he summoned one of them and said to him, You all relic of wicked things, your sins have now come home, which you have committed in the past, pronouncing unjust judgments, condemning the innocent and letting the guilty go free through the law. Though the Lord said, Do not put to death an innocent and righteous person. Now then, if you really saw her, tell me this, under what tree did you see them, being intimate with each other? He answered, Under a mastic tree. And Daniel said, Very well, you have lied against your own head, for the angel of God has Receive the sentence from God and he will immediately cut you in two. Then he put him aside and condemned them to bring the other and commanded them to bring the other. And he said to them, You offspring of Cana and, of, and not of Judah, beauty has deceived you and lust has perverted your heart. This is how you both have been dealing with the daughters of Israel, and they were intimate with your, and they were intimate with you through fear. But a daughter of Judah would not endure your wickedness. Now then, tell me, under what tree did you catch them, being intimate with each other? He answered, under an evergreen oak. And Daniel said to him, Very well, you also have lied against your own head. For the angel of God is waiting with his sword to sow you in two, that he may destroy you both. Then all the assembly shouted loudly and blessed God, who saves those who hope in him. And they rose against the two elders, for out of their own mouth Daniel had convicted them of bearing false witness, and they did to them as they had wickedly planned to do to their neighbor, acting in accordance with the law of Moses, they put them to death. Thus, innocent blood was saved that day. The word of the Lord. And thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Our response says, Though I should walk in the valley of shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil could I fear, for you are with me. The Lord is my shepherd, 
there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near a full water he leads me, he receives my soul. Though, though I, I should walk in the valley of shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. He guides me along the right path for the sake of his name. Though I should walk in the, the valley of shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Your, your crook and your staff will give me comfort. Our response. Though, Though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. You have prepared a table before me in the sight of my host. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. Our response. Though I should walk in the valley of the shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell for length of days, length of days and energy. Our response. Though I shall walk in the valley of shadow of death, no evil would I fear, for you are with me. Gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. I have no pleasure in the ear of the wicked, says the Lord, but that he turn from his way and live. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 8, verses 1 to 12. At that time, Jesus went to the mountain of Olives. Early in the morning, he came again to the temple. All the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. The scribes and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in adultery, and placing her in their midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman has been caught in the act of adultery. Now, in the law of Moses commanded us to stone such. What do you say about her? This they said to test him, that they might have some charge to bring against him. Jesus bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. And as they continued to ask him, he stood up and said to them, let him who is without sin among you be the first to throw a stone at her. And once more he bent down and wrote with his finger on the ground. But when they heard it, they went away one by one, beginning with the eldest. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing before him. Jesus looked up and said to her, Woman, where are they? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said, Neither do I con condemn you. Go and do not sin again. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become, a, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, which will become our spiritual being. Blessed be God forever. With a humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, 
and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Amen. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that preparing to celebrate the holy mysteries, we may bring before you as the fruit of bodily penance a joyful purity of Christ. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the free feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glory for you with countless angels, as with one voice we praise and we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy day for this is we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Pope Francis, our Archbishop Thuma Bala and all the clergy. We remember all those who expired due to coronavirus. Give them, Lord, the eternal bliss. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased to you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quiet to eternal life and may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the serious command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, 
whatever has from evil. Dear Mother's Lord, we pray from every evil places we grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all these ways as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, as it apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let us pray. Strengthened by the blessing of your sacrament, we pray, O Lord, that through them we may constantly be cleansed of our faults and by following Christ, hasten our steps upward toward you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow, bow down and give the God's blessings. Set free from their sins, O Lord, we pray the people who call upon you that living a holy way of life, they may be kept safe from every trial. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.